as I did recently with my previous video, you know, I can make a long 20 minute or 30 minute video on this, but seeing how most of my subscribers are on the same page regarding how the American government and then all the world plans on enforcing religious laws to cause all the world to wonder after the beast system in Rome, you know, I'm just going to share the basic facts regarding what just recently happened. And for those of you that like to read, that would want all the links to the articles, the videos, the Bible verses, and even the historic statements from the man of sin in Rome himself, who stated more than a few times in how he plans to force every nation on earth to bow to his rule, check out my blog entry on this. The link is going to be in the video description. But to keep the video short, I'm just going to share a little bit from the article, wherein so-called Christians that were polled by the U.S. government do in fact want the Vatican's version of Christianity to become the official state religion of America, exactly as prophecy predicted. In so doing, this will allow the image of the beast to have the power it needs to enforce the mark. Christian prophecy is going to be fulfilled, and they will create an American state religion quite rapidly. This needs to happen because they cannot enforce religious laws without changing the Constitution by removing the First Amendment. And this is the reason for all the chaos in our nation. We all, as a matter of the world order, as it, such as it is, need to come together urgently in order to assert uh, rule of law, uh, human decency, uh, and to make order out of places where there is chaos. They can bring order out of chaos. They allow this to happen so they can have their fix, hence the reason for the poll. They don't do polls like this without having a fix at the end of it. They just want to make sure there's not going to be a lot of opposition to it. That's why they do the poll in advance. We all know the mark of the beast is, in fact, a religious law. I mean, check it out. Each time the mark or even the image of the beast is mentioned in prophecy, the word worship is right there with it. And so that all being said, check this out. It says in this article, unsurprisingly, nearly 80% of Republicans and more than half of Democrats who describe themselves as born-again or evangelical Christians supported declaring the U.S. a Christian nation. And then it said, a majority of Republicans say declaring the United States a Christian nation would be unconstitutional, but let's do it anyway. And now I'm going to give you just one quote from a Roman Catholic cardinal out of many I have listed here and how he declares that constitutions can be changed and non-Catholic sects may decline to such a point that the political prescription, which means ban of them, may be become feasible and expedient. And then he said, what protection would they have against a Catholic state? Now, Notice what was prophesied 140 years ago. It says this in Testimonies, Volume 5, page 451. It says, By the decree enforcing the institution of the papacy in violation of the law of God, and that's talking about Sunday, Sabbath, it says our nation will disconnect herself fully from righteousness. When Protestantism shall stretch her hand across the gulf to grasp the hand of the Roman power, when she shall reach over the abyss to clasp hands with spiritualism, when under the influence of this threefold union, our country shall repudiate every principle of its constitution as a Protestant and Republican government, and shall make provision for the propagation of papal falsehoods and delusions. Then we may know that the time has come for the marvelous working of Satan, and the end is near. As the approach of the Roman armies was assigned to the disciples of the impending destruction of Jerusalem, so may this apostasy be assigned to us that the limit of God's forbearance is reached, that the measure of our nation's iniquity is full, and that the angel of mercy is about to take her flight, never to return. When they change the Constitution, you know, so as to create that legal church and state form of government, thereby making a carbon copy of the beast system in Rome, wherein all the 501c3 pastors will then be considered official government agencies, just as President George W. Bush called him on March 7, 2006, after signing the executive order number 13397, of which Trump bolstered into permanent law 11 years later. 
When that long-expected change is made official by law, they will have nothing stopping them to enforce religious laws, exactly as prophecy said they would. Not long after passing the law regarding phase one of the Mark of the Beast, wherein you can't buy and sell without it, they will then pass a law not too long afterwards, making it perfectly legal to actually kill the Christians who refuse to bow to the Pope, who by this time controls the new world order. And then all on earth will see the prophecy of Psalm 119, verse 126. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. And it is then the final plagues of Revelation will begin. Thank you for watching. God bless.